together every day, having adventures as we play. Up in the hills, down on the beach, always a rainbow within reach. On Animal Island, on Animal Island, yeah. On Animal Island, on Animal Island, come on. Hello. to say hello 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 let's stop to say hello it's a way to say we're glad you're here come on and say hello hello hedgehog hello fox hello pig hello monkey when friends are near we smile and say hello when friends are far we wave and say hello it's a friendly word that shows we care come on and say hello hello mr frog hello hello, hello mr. mr goose hello hello friend Hello. Hello. Hi. Nice to see you. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> this song is about colors. Start with yellow, red, and blue. Yes, we do. Start with yellow, red, and blue. Now take two. Mix two colors and you'll make something new. Start with yellow, red, and blue. Yes, we do. You can also add a little bit of black or white. Yeah! <laughs> it's so good to see you again. The rest of the gang is already here. Let's see what Pig is up to. Hi, Pig. What are you painting? Can you tell what it is? A green apple. That's right! Let's see if you can guess what my other paintings are. What's this? That's Mr. Frog. <laughs> yes! And what's this? Hmm... It looks like a green airplane. That's right! What's this one? That's a green pumpkin. They're usually orange, but I wanted to paint a green one. Did you notice something about all my paintings? Look again. I painted a green apple, Mr. Frog, a green airplane, and a green pumpkin. What do they all have in common? They're all green. That's right! Today, I'm only painting green things. Pig's paintings give me an idea. Let's make green our special color of the day. Pig? Fox, I'm going to show you a new way of painting. Ooh. Um, I don't see any paint brushes. That's right, Fox. We're not going to paint with paint brushes. Huh? Huh? We're going to paint with sponges. Ready to see what happens? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Do you want to start with blue paper or red paper? Blue, please. And I'll take red, please. Great. Now, pick up a sponge. Dip it in the yellow paint. <laughs> and start painting. Oh, 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 look. My paper is turning orange. Because red and yellow make orange. My paper is turning green! That's right! <gasps> Look how smooth it looks! 
I'm tapping my sponge. <laughs> it looks rough, like, like rocks. Smooth and rough are textures. Say it after me. Textures. Textures. I'm done. Me too. Let's hang up your paintings and look at them. What's something that's the same about your paintings? We both painted with sponges. That's right. What else? We both painted with yellow. Yes. And what's something different about your paintings? Mine came out green. And Pig's is orange. And my painting is rough, but Fox's is smooth. That's right. Now, what do we do when we're done painting? We go play! Uh-huh. But first... We clean up! Oh, right! That's right! Let's clean up together! Okay! okay. I'm crunching leaves! But only green leaves! I see one! Let's look for more! Let's look for one more! Do you see it? There it is! We did it! <laughs> Yay! See you! beautiful colors like the color green. It's story time! Yay! Get around, everyone! What book are we reading? We're reading this one. It's called Sizing Things Up. This book is about big things and small things. Let's read it. Let's begin. Sizing Things Up Written by Aparna Kapoor Illustrated by Debjota Saha The world is full of creatures and things. Some are big, some are small, most are somewhere in the middle. These are some of the biggest things we know. These are some of the smallest things we know. Some things look big because they're surrounded by smaller things. The same things may look small when they're surrounded by bigger things. What looks big from close by may look small from far away. Big things make bigger things. Bigger things make huge ones. Huge things make ginormous ones. Ginormous things make super-duper mega-jumbo ones. Small things are made of smaller ones. Smaller things are made of tiny ones, which are made of eeny-teeny-weeny things. But even the eeny teeny weeny can make a super duper mega jumbo difference in this big 
small world. The end. Thank you, Mr. Goose. Thank you for reading with me. Kids, it's time for a sing-along with Mr. Frog. Yay! Remember to say hello when you see him. Hello, kids. Hello, Mr. Frog. Let's sing The More We Get Together. I'll sing the first verse, then you sing along with me. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Now let's all sing together. You too. Ready? Okay, everybody. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Was wonderful. Mr. Frog? Yes, Hedgehog? I'm happy when we get together and sing songs. Me too, Hedgehog. Goodbye for now. Goodbye, Goodbye Mr. Frog. Frog! Here's something we already did. Let's do it again. We're about to practice our counting together. Come on! ba da ba da ba 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 da Ba -da -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. One, two, three, four. Don't stop now, let's count some more. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're doing great. When we see some flowers or butterflies or stars, we count so we can find out how many things there are. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Look for things to count. Oh, I'm not very good at counting by myself. You're not very good yet. I'll help you. Let's count Z stars. One, two, three, four. Four Z stars. Now let's count shells together. One. Two, three. How many in all? Three. Yeah, you got it. Now you try, Hedgehog. Count the rocks. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. So how many rocks are there in all? Six! You did it! Thanks, monkey! Hey, I have an idea. Let's count all the grains of sand on the beach. Yeah! yeah! That may take a while. See you soon. Hi there, pig. Have you seen Mr. Goose? Yes, I have. He's drinking juice. Mm -hmm. Hey! Goose! Juice! <laughs> Those words end with the same sound. Did you hear that? Goose! Juice! You're right! They do end in the same sound. That means they rhyme. Here's more words that rhyme. This is a goat standing in a <laughs> That's so silly. Goat, boat. They rhyme. Here's a house that's a home for a mouse. House, mouse. 
They rhyme. Look at this sink. It's the color pink. Sink, pink. They rhyme. You're good at this. Here's one more. What did Mr. Frog bake? It looks like a cake. That's right. Bake, cake. They rhyme. That was fun. And now we're done. Pig, you made a rhyme. Fun done. You're right. <laughs> Let's go make more rhymes. Yeah. And now it's time to say goodbye. Let's sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, goodbye. goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Let's stop to say goodbye before we say hello again. We need, We need to, to say, say goodbye. goodbye. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye. 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 <laughs> Time to rest. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. Good. Listen. Do you know the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man, the Muffin Man. Do you know the Muffin Man who lives on Drury Lane? Oh yes, I know the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man. Yes, I know the Muffin Man who lives on Drury Lane. Do The Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man. Do you know the Muffin Man who lives on Drury Lane? Oh yes, I know the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man. Yes, I know the Muffin Man who lives on Drury Lane.